In the least, in the weeks leading up to the attack on the Cipriano family, friends of Tucker Cipriano say he often talked about wanting to kill people, including his own parents. In the weeks leading up to the heinous attack on his family, Tucker Cipriano's friends say he often freely talked about bludgeoning his parents and siblings. He always talked of killing people, said a female friend of Cipriano's. She and others spoke to police in the days following the murder of his father and assaults on his family. According to the friend, Cipriano said he would beat someone to death or he would chop them up. He talked about committing murder so often, said the girl, that she thought he was joking. According to the interview, Tucker said he stole up to $1,100 from his parents' house weeks earlier and used it to buy alcohol, tattoos, and hotel rooms. He told the friend several times that he would kill his parents for money. An interview with a different friend reveals that two weeks earlier, he'd heard that Cipriano and his friend Mitchell Young were planning to kill Cipriano's parents for money. Cipriano and Young talked with a third friend, Ian Zinderman, about who would kill which family members. Zinderman says he told the duo that he wouldn't take part in the murder and try to convince them to change their minds. When the duo showed up, their plan hit its first roadblock. They didn't count on barks from the family dog. It woke up Cipriano's father. He yelled, stop, take the money and go. Instead, according to interviews, Tucker's friend Mitchell hit his dad on the top of his head with a baseball bat several times while Tucker held him. When Cipriano's mother walked in, Young struck her too. She ran away before collapsing. Brother Salvatore was also struck. Hours later, when police interviewed Cipriano, he asked officers whether his father was still alive. When they told him he wasn't, police say he broke down. He told them he was very close to his father. As for his friend Mitchell Young, he called his mother hours after the murder. I'm sorry, Mom, he said on a recorded phone line. None of this was supposed to happen. None of this was supposed to happen. And when it was all over, Cipriano's father was dead and his mother and brother were in critical condition. Tucker Cipriano and Mitchell Young have since been charged with first-degree murder. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Oh,